then go into you guys. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Hello. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, I got invaded. <laughs> Keep rolling. Keep All right, rolling. ready? One, two, three, go. Hello, welcome to Indie 191 Live. I'm your host, Kevin, or KMX, whatever my name is. And right now we are at Da Studio. We are currently uh, being invaded by people coming in from one door and out of the other door, as most people do when you're standing by a door during an interview. But nothing out of the ordinary. But anyway, I'm Jay we, we are here Hi, with Jay. There's Jay Hello. Sick, there's our boy, and then uh, Hail Satan again. <laughs> speaking of speaking of Satan, over here we have Lovey. Speaking of speaking Satan. Of Satan. <laughs> hey, this is Lovey Crazy, and um, welcome me to 191, uh, the coolest uh, station on the planet. And this is Satan's Pawn. <laughs> but anyway, we're really here to talk about a great magazine from a local um, standpoint from Philly. And it's called Culture Asylum, which is a really cool magazine. And these two people are the ones who are responsible for it. And your names are? Banshee A. Goldman. And I'm Carrie Ann Jackson Goldman. Okay, okay great. Um, I, was inter I became interested in the magazine because of the fact that it was really an open forum, like, you know, of like open minded people instead of very closed minded people. So, actually, I'm a very open minded person. So, I kind of gravitated to the magazine. So, could you explain to me how you came about with the idea of coming together with Culture Asylum? Sure. In 1998, we decided to do some interviews and see where we were going with it. We were pretty much freelancing for a while. We came up with an idea of doing a website and then putting the magazine to print. And the first time that we put it to print, it was your regular going to Staples and putting it together. So we were just getting the name out there. And then we went to a digital format. And then I decided to sink my money to make it more professional. And then what you have now is a professional size digest magazine that uh, encompasses everything that's subculture, dealing with interviews, poetry, uh, short stories, reviews art, photography, so on and so forth. Yeah, I would, I would say that you wouldn't really want to consider this just a goth magazine because, you know, I'm gothic industrial metal, and that's, but he's, um, there's a whole gambit in this magazine that, um, you know, it just doesn't one um, genre, so it's really kind of cool that way. I would really have to say that um, they did a great job, um, and I would really think that people should really support it. It's a great magazine. So, would you want to tell us more about what your what the plans are for the future, what is going on. I know you have a magazine in your hand, you might want to show yes. them. This is the latest issue that has Lovey Craves It in it, as well as Pig Boy being in it. This is July. This is July, July, July August 2010. And it's doing very well uh, because of Lovey being in it, which is one of the best interviews that we have had because it's more on a political standpoint, which All we right. are trying to become more <laughs> Thank involved you. with. Yay! Woo! So we are donations will be. <laughs> <laughs> we are in full support of the National Goth Party mm -hmm. and uh, want to work with Lovey and future projects. Uh, we want to get the word out more politically for people to know that there is a voice, then they are the voice, the underground voice, <clears throat> and that their submissions uh, is what's important and keeps the magazine thriving. I thought, thought I may jump in for a moment here. Um, another goal we have for the magazine, obviously we want to increase distribution. We are already being going worldwide. We have, in fact, one of our subscribers is from Wales. We have a customer who comes to us every now and then from Norway. We have people from all over the world who have obtained this magazine, but we want it to be even bigger. And we want our distribution to grow because the underground needs a voice. And the voice, it, it almost seems as if the underground doesn't really have a voice at this point. We are trying to be that voice and, and help spread the word about people who are different. Now, the thing to keep in mind about the magazine, too, is that we are 18 and up uh, because of the material that is in the magazine. Because we also have featured models and some of them oh. do nude shoots. <laughs> And there's a provocative writing that happened to be uh, in the magazine as well, so we don't want to get into the hands of children, but those that actually understand and are mature enough to read the magazine. Now, uh, you say you publish a lot of stories. Uh, like, uh, what kind of stuff do you, do you tend to publish with writing, with poetry? Like, what, 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 what are you really looking for? We deal with uh, dark material, uh, gothic writing, people that want to express how they feel inside if they're angry or if they're sad. Just what they're feeling at the time, if it's really well done and very visual, we put it in the magazine. Short stories involve anything from 
Well, we've had some really interesting short stories about a girl traveling in the woods and something really bad happens to her. That's all I can actually say. Is there, <laughs> yeah. is there stories about that? Is it like a recurring theme? Yeah, or? there's a recurring theme. Of, we, we had one, well, honey, what was that one that we had that was about the father or the, the husband and he decided uh, with the dinner that he was going to go and kill everybody? Oh, I don't remember. Are you talking about Wayne's story now? But uh, anything, we're looking for the most daring, underground, cutting edge stuff available from the most talented people whose voices have not yet been heard. 